Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft Pocket Edition tutorial. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to live stream to your YouTube channel with the YouTube Gaming app. So why don't we go ahead and get started. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your Google Play Store. And you want to go ahead and search up an app called YouTube Gaming. So this was basically a uh, new live streaming service that YouTube brought out in, over the summer of 2015. And uh, yeah, it's been growing pretty well. So uh, I do recommend you go ahead and download the app. You can also like watch YouTube videos and stuff like that on this app as well. So not only is it for live streaming, but it's also for watching videos as well. So uh, that is really cool. So when you uh, go ahead and bring up this app over here, it should have the uh, YouTube icon with the heart. And then it should uh, show these screenshots over here and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, so basically go ahead and install this app. And once you have done that, you want to go ahead and open up your YouTube gaming. So well, once you go ahead and open up the YouTube gaming app, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll wait a moment. It doesn't really look like YouTube. It sort of looks like YouTube, but it's a little bit different. So as you can see, you have four tabs over here. You have the home button. You also have the live button, which you can see other people's live streams that you can uh, watch if you're interested. You can also go ahead and go search by game, and you can also search by channel as well from your subscriptions and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. But anyways, today's tutorial, we're going to show you guys how to live stream, so I'm going to go be brought to the screen over here. So now once you've done that, you want to go ahead and tap this little uh, red icon over here at the uh, top right-hand corner of the screen next to your name icon, and it will go ahead and load up. And uh, yeah, you just got to wait for it. A lot of things take a long time, but once you get used to it, it will uh, start getting quicker. So uh, let's go ahead and boot it up. So it'll say mobile capture, play games and entertain an audience on YouTube, record gameplay to upload later, or live stream right now and engage friends directly. So uh, please be sure not to violate other others' copyright rights. And uh, yeah, so copyright strikes will still happen when the live streaming goes up after a YouTube video, so don't play copyrighted music on your live stream if you don't want it to uh, affect you later on. So you will still be able to like earn money and stuff like that if you have done so in the past, it's just if you do copyright music, which some will uh, do like copyrighted music stuff and like that, like uh, you can't, you basically can't do that. Like uh, some people do like music requests and stuff, basically don't do that on YouTube. So anyway, let's go and press the next and move on. So basically this is where you go ahead and set up your settings. This You can actually use this as a screen recorder, so you can actually go ahead and record your screen as well. But today's focus is on streaming. So uh, video format, if your internet is good enough, you can record at 720p HD. Or if your internet is a little bit a uh, little bit good, but not that great, you can go ahead and also use 480p. 480p is still super good quality content. It's just 720p will make it 10 times better if you do go ahead and use it. Only use it if you know your internet is going to be stable enough to use it. But if you know it's not going to be, just stick with 480p. It will make your gameplay smoother and stuff if your internet can't handle it. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and hit next here. So a few tips your live stream is public. Remember anything you on your screen, notifications, calls, and passwords will be streamed. This is very important because Android is it, not like PC streaming where you can like hide your passwords and stuff like that. So make sure you're not showing any of your passwords and the mic captures game audio from the speaker so turn up the sound. Nearby sounds may also be recorded and stuff like that. So make sure you are alone if you don't want any of that stuff to happen. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. So basically after the select an app that you're going to be live streaming to, we're going to be live streaming to Minecraft Pocket Edition. So let's go ahead and choose that. So here's where the good part comes in. You basically want to add your stream info, uh, basically like telling everyone like uh, what your stream is going to be about, the title. So let's say uh, I'm just going to call this one tutorial stream, but obviously you're going to want want to make your one more uh, descriptive and stuff like that. Like if it's a series, you want to make it like Survival Let's Play episode 34 or something like that. Like you would normally title the video, except you're going to be titling it on the stream. And make sure the title is something you're going to be doing in the stream. Don't do like uh, clickbait and stuff like that on streams because you'll get a lot of hate in your chat so don't do that and also make sure you change your description as well i recommend you have like a notepad or something like that where you copy your uh, original video description into uh, this description over here because it will not copy over into the youtube gaming app so if you do have like a normal description you're usually posting your videos make sure you do go ahead and copy paste that into this description over here but for the tutorial purposes i'm going to just uh, call the description a uh, use for world of gaming's tutorial so we're gonna go do that. All right, so let's go ahead and press the next button here and uh, see what it does. So it says enable streaming. It looks like streaming isn't enabled on your account. Want to do that, you may also need to create a YouTube channel as well. So let's just go ahead and tap enable here and it will go ahead and sign into your account again. And yeah, you do need to have like YouTube uh, live streaming enabled and stuff. 
so it says enable streaming over here and you will need to verify your account so I'm gonna go ahead and verify the account and I'll see you guys on the other side. Alright, so now that you have verified your account, um, I, I wasn't able to verify the other one, so I just switched to my other account, which was verified, and, uh, yeah, so you can basically go ahead and share your stream link if you want to on Twitter, Google+, Plus, or direct message someone, I don't really, it doesn't really matter, you can just go ahead and skip this step if you want to, and, uh, yeah, so now that you have tapped next, we'll go ahead and actually boot up the game that you want to watch, as you can see, we'll show the, uh, chats in the, uh, bottom corner and uh yeah so it'll also show your uh, webcam as well on this corner but uh, let's say you don't want to use webcam then all you got to do is press this button at the uh, top left hand corner of the screen and it will go ahead and just show your profile picture so uh yeah so as you can see there are a couple of options over here you have the microphone so you can basically mute or unmute your microphone you can uh, also turn on and off the uh, HUD chat, which showed at the uh, near the bottom of the screen. And you can also have some other extra settings here as well, which I forgot what they are. But uh, yeah, you know, you can basically just have those settings over there. So uh, yeah, now all you got to do is press the uh, tap the stream button and then you should be good to go. Uh, this is my main account, so I don't really want to live stream, but uh, you get the idea. Just tap the middle button at the uh, top of the screen and you'll be good to go. And it will capture all of your live gameplay for your viewers to watch and stuff like that. I recommend you grab another device to watch your stream because the chat that shows at the bottom isn't really effective So uh, you may want to go ahead and do that like I always do but yeah, that's about it Thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed it Make sure to drop a like and also leave a comment below if you guys also have any questions Make sure to leave a comment on the re video as well to let me know and I will get back to you as soon as possible Anyways, thanks so much and I'll see you guys in the next one